Hello students, so here we come upon a numerical on rolling element bearing defects. Earlier, I have already posted a video related to the derivation for rolling element bearing defects, the different fault frequencies. So you can go through that video if you want to look upon the derivation. Now using that derivation, the formulas that we have derived, based upon that we will solve a numerical over here. Okay, so just let's read out the numerical and write down whatever is given. So here it is given that with application of a domestic wind turbine. So with respect to a domestic wind turbine running at 1800 RPM. So under given we will write down. Our N is given as 1800 RPM. Okay. Speed supported by to rolling element bearing okay so yearly here you can clearly see that the problem is related to a rolling element bearing okay having the specification now the number of balls is given as seven now with respect to our case we have written the notification or you can say the uh, what we can say uh, the parameter as z so we will write z as seven because the formulas that we have derived we have taken z so referring different different textbooks, there are different different parameters, but more or less the concept remains the same. Then the ball diameter. So in our case, the formula we have derived, we have taken it as small d. So I'm writing small d. Then the piece circle diameter in our case, it is capital D. So I'm writing capital D. Okay. Contact angle in our case, it is alpha. So it's given at zero degree. Now running speed of the shaft is 1800 RPM. Already we have written, find the fall frequencies of the bearing. Okay, so they have asked us to find out the fall frequencies of the bearing and uh, one more thing they are given over here is the maximum vibration amplitude. Okay, so maximum vibration amplitude is already given to us is 133 hertz. Okay, to find we need to find out the fall frequencies of the bearing. So fall frequencies of the bearing, so there are total four fall frequencies as I already discussed earlier. So fall frequencies of bearing. So under that we have ball pass fre uh, frequency, outer race, ball pass frequency, inner race ball spin frequency and fundamental train frequency okay so this is what they have asked us and one more thing they have asked us at the end is that identify the defect okay we also need to find out what is the defect in the system the second important thing is to identify the defect okay so simple problem We'll directly go with the calculation. So I write down over here fall frequencies of the bearing. So my very first formula that is ball pass frequency ball pass frequency outer race. So the formula F B P F O is equal to Z F O minus F I divided by two into one minus D upon D cos of alpha. Okay. So Z we already have with, have with us D and D also we have alpha also we have. Now what is F O minus F I? So F O minus F I is nothing but the frequency. So how we will get this F O minus F I? So this F O minus F I is nothing but your speed in RPM divided by 60. Since we have one DC in Hertz. So our speed in RPM is 1800. So this comes at 1800 upon 60. So we will substitute this in the above formula. So this BPFO comes out to be my Z is number of uh, balls. So it is 7. So this is 7. This is 1800. This 2 earlier. This 60. And this 1 minus. Uh, small d is my 
capital D is my 18 and cos of 0. So what we will do is we will first solve this bracket. Okay. And then we will multiply it by the remaining part. So the first bracket value, whatever we get. So we'll just calculate. So that is 1 minus 4.8 upon 18. So it comes out to be 0 0.7333. So this when we further simplify further 7 1800 0 0.7 3 upon 2 into 60 therefore our f b p f o value comes out to be simple calculation so it comes out to be 77 hertz okay Next, we go on to the second that is ball pass frequency inner race F B P F I. So, the my formula is Z F O minus F I 1 plus D upon D cos of alpha divided by 2 my z value is 7 my f4 is 1800 divided by 60 and this is my 1 plus 4.8 upon 18 cos of 0 again in this case we will solve the bracket first so the value for 1 plus 4.8 upon 18 comes out to be 1.266 okay 2 into 60 so the overall value is 1.233. comes out to be 133 so therefore my f b p f i is 133 hertz next fault frequency is my ball spin frequency so my ball spin frequency f bsf is equal to my formula is f o minus f i divided by 2 d by d 1 minus d upon d cos alpha the whole square so i'll substitute this value 1800 upon my 60 since i want to convert it into frequency my capital d is 18 small d is 4.8 under the bracket small d 4.8 capital d 18 cos of 0 the whole square now again in this case we will solve the bracket first so this is my 4.8 upon 18 cos 0 is 1 so i will square this value and 1 minus my that value so it comes out to be I'll write it down for the over here 1800 18 60 to 4.8 okay and this value comes out to be 9288 okay so my overall value of bsf is 52.25 therefore f bsf is my 52.25 hertz we will just cross verify whether we have done everything right fo minus fi is my 1800 by 60 my 2 over here capital d upon small d okay 18 upon 4.8 and this value so it's 4.8 upon 18 
the whole square 1 minus that value into 18 into 1800 and divided by the denominator okay right and then the last frequency that is my fundamental train frequency that is ftf my formula is fo minus fi divided by 2 1 minus d upon d cos of alpha so my fo upon fi is 1800 and in hertz it divided by 60 this 2 over here this is my 4.8 this is my 18 and this is cos of 0 again in this case we will solve the bracket first so the value of that bracket comes out to be 0 0.7333 okay and the overall value for my FTF comes out to be 11 so my FTF is equal to 11 hertz okay so I have done with the first part that is to find the fault frequencies now the second part they have asked us is to find the defect in the system okay what is the defect in the system now in order to identify the defect in the system we need to compare the value of this fault frequency so see they have already given in the question that the maximum fault frequency is occurring at 133 hertz okay so i just need to compare the values of my fault frequencies with this maximum 133 hertz so here we can see that my bpfi value matches with my maximum value of the frequency that is obtained from my vibration analysis so from that we can write down the conclusion as since my maximum amplitude occurs at bpfi that is 133 hertz therefore what i will write the defect is present at inner race why because bpfi corresponds to ball pass frequency inner race okay so my maximum amplitude value given in the question matches with my frequency of 133 hertz okay uh, it doesn't match it with bfi for that is 77 and if i do 52.5 into 2 okay then again also it doesn't matches okay i've already covered this with respect to the derivation you can look upon in the previous video so here we are done with the problem very simple problem uh, wherein we need to identify the fault frequencies and we need to identify the defect okay so keep watching uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you